Hey everyone, Sheree here. Today I'm going to be working with uh, another digital kit. This one is from Kelly Bangs Creative, but it is a collaboration with Amber Shaw and it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, please excuse my budgies in the background. <laughs> They're very noisy today and nothing I do will make them be quiet when I want to film. Okay, I've got the really beautiful journaling cards there. I'm still deciding whether I'll do a pocket page spread with this or a normal layout maybe I'll even do both but we'll see um, I just thought I'd show you how everything prints out before I start fussy cutting now these ones are from the easy print file that you can get and these are all available at sweetshopdesigns.com and uh, you get a really beautiful selection of the embellishments another little card there you can use lots of little icons and words and really sweet little images like that dear absolutely love that one and the other one there's two easy print sheets that have more embellishments this one has little birds and butterflies flowers some frames I love that cute arrow there as well and there's also a selection of papers now what I've done I haven't got a 12 by 12 printer mine's just a normal size printer so what I do is I just open up an A4 sized page in Photoshop and I just select some of the papers that I might want to use and just arrange them on the page so that I've got a bit of everything so you can see there I've got a full page of the bird pattern paper there which is really sweet but this one I've got the yellow and that beautiful pattern there some of the roses and the pink polka dot and that's just really to save on ink and to save paper as well so I know that I don't need a full sheet of 12 by 12 of each of these papers even though I would love to have that I do only have a normal size printer and it does take a lot of ink to print out a full page anyway most of my layouts do start off with a, white, a plain white background so I don't necessarily need to use 12 by 12 size papers to create something really nice so what I will do is I'll go away now and fussy cut all these cute little things out decide what I'm going to do and I'll be back to show you what I create with these cute new goodies all right, so as you can see, uh, I've decided to do a layout using this digital kit today. So I have already made a start, and what I did was I used this circle punch, which I think is around two and a half inches. Yes, so it's a two and a half inch punch. And I just simply grabbed those papers that I had printed and punched out a uh, piece of each pattern that I had there. I also had a little bit of the plain blue and I also punched out my photo and then I went ahead into Word and I typed up some journaling which I just printed out onto some plain white paper. I used one of the punched circles to make sure it was going to fit in that hole then I went ahead and printed it onto some plain pink. So this was also a pattern paper in the kit. So when I printed it out, I then used my circle punch to cut that one out as well. So as you can see, I've got my journaling, my photo, all the different uh, patterns that I wanted to use on here. And then I have used my T-square ruler to line all those up. I think there's about a one and a half centimeter gap between each uh, circle, which is uh, approximately half an inch, just over half an inch. And um, they're all lined up and ready to go. So I was going to do some mas machine stitching around each circle, but when I went to do that, I just thought it was going to be too tricky to get a nice uh, lovely border around each one with the size of my paper so what I've done is gone ahead and used my paper piercer I have a really old one from making memories here and I simply just freehand punched holes all around each of those circles and now I'm just hand stitching some embroidery with some embroidery thread into those holes you can see there it's just one strand which is doubled up and I'm just doing a running stitch around each of the circles. I do have those embellishments all cut out ready to go. So it's going to take me a little bit of time to finish this hand stitching. But then I will come back and start to do those embellishments. So I'll be back again shortly.
Okay, so all of my hand stitching is done and I've also added a piece of vellum here I just used a circle die to cut a smaller circle for that one and I've used machine stitching down the middle of that one All the rest though do have hand stitching including my photo So that's all done and now I'm ready to add my embellishments So I have gone through an already added foam tape to the back of each piece just so that it saves a bit of time while I'm Putting it all together. So I'll start with this top uh, circle here. I've got this cute little branch with flowers on it and a little bird. So I've got foam tape on half of it because I want to add a bit of dimension up one end and I think I will just use my tape runner on the rest of that. Make it a little bit sticky on the end there. And going to pop it so it's just sort of hanging off the edge there but that end bit is more raised and this one just got foam tape on the back of this little guy and he can just stand on the branch like that and that one is done all right next for this pink circle I've got this beautiful rose now this was joined uh, when I printed it out, but I want to um, create a bit of dimension with this. So I've cut the leaves from the flower and the leaves will just go straight onto the page and I've got foam tape behind, or foam squares, sorry, behind the flower to pop it off the page a bit. So just get rid of those backing pieces. So I'm just going to layer them like so, so if I just move the flower over a little, it'll cover up where I've cut those leaves from the flower. So I'm just going to position it just like that. And now that pink circle is done. Now this one here, I've got some messy threads. I'm going to put that down first. I might even get a bit of liquid glue on this one. So I'll just just there like that just so that it's going to hold the messy thread into place okay and then I've got this heart circle foam tape on the back of that and the glue should also help to hold that one in its spot and then I've got this little piece that says puts a smile on my face so I've got some foam tape on that one and that one can go on as well so I'll, again I'll just hang it off the side of that circle so it's hanging over the edge there okay so this is coming together really quickly now uh, a few more circles to go this one here that I've got the vellum sewn onto this is very simple I've got a circle that says today so I'm just going to simply, and you can actually see where I've used some adhesive there, but this circle covers that up. So pop that in the middle, and then I've got this cute little flower that I've also got foam tape on the back of. And I'm going to sit that one just off the side of that today circle. And that one is done as well. All right, next I've got this cute little coffee cup. It's adorable. And again, just keeping it really simple, some foam tape on the back, and that is going in the middle. And I find, because I do have a lot going on on this page with all the little bits and pieces that I'm adding, but I find if you put like colours together, it helps to keep it from looking too busy on the page. So that's why I've got the yellow coffee cup on the yellow, the pink flower there on the pink, the blue bird on that blue background. Uh, the rest are a little bit mixed up, but that's okay. It's helping to just tone it down and keep it looking nice. All right, this dotty circle down the bottom corner here, I've got that sweet little deer. I've been wanting to use this one, and I'm glad I can use it on this page. So I'm just using some tape run on the back of that little guy. Stick him down. Then I've got some messy thread I'm going to tuck in there. I've got a flower that's going to go just next to the little deer there and I've got a little label that says oh happy day so I'm going to pop that across 
the deer and the flower with some foam tape. So again, adding some nice dimension to this page. All right, stick that all down nicely. Okay, now this blue stripy circle here, I've got this pretty vase of flowers. Now this, obviously when I printed it out, it was just a flat piece, but I've printed it out a second time. And what I've done is cut out the flowers and popped them on with a little foam dot. You can see there, I can take that flower off. There we go. And it's just got a little foam dot on the back and that makes everything look 3D. It gives that lovely dimension. So you can see on the side there. I love doing that. It's a little bit fiddly to fussy cut each flower, but it was so worth it because now I have a lovely dimensional piece to add to this page. So I think this one will just need some tape runner on the back and then that one can go straight on to that circle. Okay. Now this bottom corner where I've got my journaling piece, I've just got this little banner. So I've got foam tape on the back, so it's going to sit up off the page. And again, keeping it really simple, but just by adding those foam pieces behind each printed embellishment, it just adds that extra bit of interest to the page. Always love adding dimension. Okay, so that's just going to stick right there. And then, I've got a butterfly which I think I will add to the top of my page there. Now I'll just see if my tiny attacher will reach. It may not. Let's see. Nope, not quite. So what I'm going to do is grab out my long arm stapler because that will reach anywhere on the page. Okay. So just work out where I want to put this. I think up on that edge there and I'm going to add a staple right down the middle of that butterfly. Here we go and now he will sit up with his wings and look really pretty. Okay so the only other thing I need to do for this page now is to add the date. Probably doesn't really matter where I put this. I might just put it down below here maybe sideways next to the banner, sideways next to the circle. Um, let's see, I think I might just go sideways there, hmm, decisions, decisions, or perhaps I'll put it right here, that's what I might do, I might put it next to the coffee cup perhaps, wouldn't really fit up there. Well, I would prefer it down here near that. So I'm just going to add it onto the white cardstock right next to that circle. So I'm just going to go right here. There we go. Keep it nice and neat. Maybe a couple extra little stamps there. All right. And that is my page done. So I love all these little bits of pieces on this page. Lots of pretty little things. That deer is very cute. And there you have it. I will put a link down below uh, where you can find this Kelly Bangs Creative uh, kit. It's super cute, lots of different things and you can use it for so many different uh, themes and occasions. Um, I'll leave you with some close-up photos at the end and uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be back again soon with more to share. Bye for now.